Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian. On this edition of Engines of North America, we will be talking about the GE C44-9W. In the early 90s, the Chicago Northwestern began to have a horsepower problem due to their longer coal trains. For a time, they did try and boost the power of their C40-8s, but this was a fleeting fix. What originally started as a wish for an enhanced Dash 8 eventually turned into a multi-month long collaboration with General Electric, which would lead to the creation of the C44-9W, which would also mark the end of the four-axle era with the GP60 in 1994. The C in C44-9W meant the engine rode on a C-C wheelbase, the 44 stood for 4400 horsepower, the W stood for wide cab, and the 9 meant the engine was part of the Dash 9 series. They had a top speed of 70 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 142,000 pounds, and a continuous tractive effort of 105,640 pounds. On the inside, they came built with six GE 752AH traction motors, a GE GMG 197 main generator, a GYA 30A auxiliary generator, and it would be the last GE engine to come built with a 7FDL 16-cylinder engine. They weighed in at 400,000 pounds, measured in at 73 feet 2 inches, and for the horn, the C44-9W came built with a Nathan K5HL. Railroads use the C44-9W. These include, but are not limited to, the Estrada de Fedo Carajas, Pilbara Rail, and CSX. Out of all 15, the railroad with the most C44-9Ws was BNSF with a whopping 1,697 total units. The railroad with the second largest fleet was the Norfolk Southern with 1,090 units. Last but not least, the Canadian National had a modest 228 units. The C44-9W was an excellent seller. It wasn't the only GE success story. While the AC4400CW and AC6000CW sold better thanks to their more efficient AC traction motors, that's another story. The C44-9W kept proving its mettle until 2005 when the ES44 AC entered service as a replacement 11 years after the Dash 9. While the ES44 AC, as previously stated, was introduced as a replacement, the Dash 9 can still be seen in action, though not as frequently. As of 2022, only CSX has retired the C44-9W, and some railroads, such as Norfolk Southern, have embarked on a rebuilding campaign, turning them into AC44 C4Ms. However, most are currently being stored, awaiting for new assignments. In terms of museum preservation, there were two Chicago Northwestern C44s stored at the Illinois Railway Museum, though Union Pacific did bring them back into service due to a power shortage. On the other hand, as the 2020s continue, maybe more museums will take an interest in the six-axle workhorses from the early 90s. Only time will tell.